games ready to go exploring. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Dungeon Abyss. It's available on iOS and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this is a roguelite procedural dungeon crawler as we're exploring procedurally generated worlds in an effort to reclaim the light that was stolen from the world so that we can restore peace and harmony and all of that good stuff. Now this is somewhat turn-based in an essence. If we completely stand still, then the world stands still and the enemies only come forward to us. As you can see, an enemy in the top left right now. If we stand completely still, they'll stand completely still. But when we move, then they move. So at least we can have a little second to think about it. Now this is a very simple control system. It is just basically one tap to go. You're just tapping the screen and wherever you tap is wherever you go. Tap on the enemies to attack. We're going through and collecting new loot, upgrading. There are many different things to explore as well. We can have alchemy to craft new items. We can also create our own worlds as well. Nothing that I've done at the moment, but I'm just exploring these procedure generated worlds. One critique that I would have, however, is the control system. It isn't a touch-based joystick, which I think would benefit. Instead, it is you go where you tap which is very standard for touchscreen games. Absolutely, we've all experienced that before. But because these dungeons are quite expansive to explore and you can only get six or seven squares on a screen at one time because of how zoomed in it is, you're finding that you're having to constantly tap in order to try to get any progression or to try and get through at least a little bit speedy. And when you're constantly tapping, it can cause some confusion. It can cause some frustration as well and that's my only critique that I would have at the moment. This is currently in open beta so there will be new worlds, new features added and I'm hoping when it does come out officially that maybe there's some thought to the control system because I just think if we could just hold down the screen and move about that would be a lot more, I think it would just be a lot smoother, a lot easier, and a lot more enjoyable. Whereas at the moment, it can be a little bit, yeah, a little bit difficult. But still, we're going through. Now, I've only got three health left if we look in the top corner. That's not good at all, is it? So um, what's actually, what can we do here? <laughs> what can we actually do? I'm not sure what I'm clicking on right now. Let's, how can I, how can I get out of this? Okay, we've, I've got out of that. And do we have any health potions is what I wonder. Okay, can we, we can zoom out a little bit, that's good. Actually, that may alleviate what I was saying before because then at least, okay, fair enough. I will, I will rescind what I was just saying because you can in fact zoom out a little bit and that means it's a little bit easier to control. I did just die there, Never mind. But let's zoom in because this is one of the people that we wanted to speak to. And what do they have to say? Oh, so you died, ha <laughs> Great, thanks for that, appreciate. Appreciate the support. It's nice to have a fan. And we just found an egg. Brilliant. So just a couple more and we'll be able to get ourselves a nice little omelette. Where do we want to go up here? So let's try and get up here. And this is sort of the main hub. And there'll be different worlds that we can jump into. At the moment we can only jump into world one because we're still at the beginning of the game. But there is... Ooh, what's happening here? Is this just to attack? Oh yeah, it's just scarecrows to attack with. There is a procedure generated world section. I'm trying to find out where that is. But rather than just constantly, exp if it's not in this room. Oh, let's have a look. Hello, welcome back, master. Go to your dungeon. Yes, let's dump, jump into this dungeon. And we can build our own dungeon using the creation button. You can switch to creation mode, start creating, and when, then you can test it. All right, let's, um, let's have a try. So let's click on build. You set a start point, exit point, and test and pass. Okay, so what, what, how? Switch modes. Okay, we've got some blocks, we've got some objects, traps, enemies, and the connections there. But if I'm clicking on build, nope, no quests. Hmm, it's not, maybe, I, am I just being dumb? Or has it not explained it very well to me? What I'm trying to, oh, there's the egg that I found before, great. Build. Clicking on build, there we go, okay, so. Oh, we haven't really collected that much stuff. We collected things in game, I think. 
and we've got a I've just put a wooden crate down. We happy with that? Okay. <laughs> and then stairs up okay, let's put a stairs there and um Brill. I'm 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 done with this. I want to get out of this. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to build anymore. Let's let's go home. Oh no, S start point. Where's the start point? How do I put a start point on? <laughs> oh no. I'm panicking. Objects and traps, enemies. Oh, let's just populate it with the enemies. Give us no chance. And starting point. Happy? Can we go? Let's test it. I want to test it though. You should reach the exit. In but I want to reach the exit. Okay, so this is this has descended into somewhat of uh, mayhem because I am trying my best now to get off of this. <laughs> And the frustration is starting to take over because I don't quite understand what's happening. So my friends, I think I might just leave it here and say this was Dungeon Abyss. Let us know in the comments, will you be having a go at this? Maybe you'll be better at it than I will. As I say, it does bring back a hit of nostalgia from games I used to play like 10, 15 years ago. But I think it is somewhat beating me because at the moment I have absolutely no idea what to do and how to go about this. I'm clicking on test. Okay, so yeah, folks, let us know in the comments what your thoughts on this, and luck and watch you all and catch you next time.